¿Cómo estamos? Hi, it's Victoria Vox. It's been a while since I did a makeup review and tutorial, just regular one, which isn't makeup therapy. Before I dig into it, please bear with me. I'm, I'm sick. But surprisingly, even though that I've been sick for a few days, I, I've still been working. As you can see, the base of my makeup is done. So let's get to it. So Hypergleam sent me their latest collection, which is the Hypergleam Moonshine. Thank you, by the way. And I'm here to review and make a tutorial and also swatch it. This one, this is the shade Samba. This one is Tango. This one is Mambo. This one is Polka. And this one is Waltz. But you know, I've already swatched it in my Instagram story and I think that probably captured the best how of how it switches from one color to another. So maybe I'm just gonna pop it up here. I don't know why I've been working my ass off lately, even though I'm sick. Then they also sent me full-size lip glosses, which I honestly so love. This one is Sugar Plum Birthday. Atomic number 79. And this one is Doofler. So as you can notice, I chose these colors. It's because I already have a ton of plain glosses and you know, I just wanted something different. I wanted something fun. I think everything here is limited edition. Even this one, I love this. I already swatched it in my lips and I love, 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 love this. So I'm gonna start first with a primer and I am gonna use the Fenty Beauty. Just gonna blend it with a brush. My nails are too long. If my nails aren't that long, I would have just used my fingers for this. So nothing fancy for the shadows. I'm just using the Natasha Denona um, Mini Nude Palette. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna make a cut crease. I'm gonna take this shade right here first and then make a wing here. And I'm gonna use this color right here, which is like a darker brown. I'm pretty sure you have this in your palettes. This is just a basic um, palette. And I'm gonna draw a line. I'm actually making my cut crease a bit higher because we're gonna do something with this. This makeup is actually inspired by Makeup by Caddy. I really love her looks. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is with a clean brush, I am gonna blend this. And then with the shadow that we used earlier with the same brush, I'm just gonna blend it more. So I have your cream gel from Colourpop. So we're gonna cut this piece a little bit. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover it again with the shadow that we used earlier. So I'm gonna use the Tango one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in there before I cut the crease. Then I'm gonna use the Luffy brush and then look at that pigment. I oh, love it. Just gonna spread that here. I'm so in love with this. This is amazing. Oh, I love that wing. Oh. Ah, I love it. I'm gonna use a Tarte concealer to cut the crease. I'm getting an angled brush. So I'm just going to put it up until he here because I don't really need it all over my lid just for cutting that crease. Come on, look at that. Oh, look at that shift. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to let it dry a bit. I'm not going to put powder on it. Okay, so the next one is the excited part. I'm going to use the Mambo for the main part. That was such a bad move. I should have done this first. Is to put a black base. Oh god, now it's sticky. I'm gonna put black base all over my lid. Okay, I wanna see some magic. That's magic right there.
beautiful. Look at that. That's just one shadow, but look, it shifts from blue to purple, dark purple. You see that? You see that? Okay, so I actually thought of something just now. What if instead of me putting just one color all over this, is I'm gonna apply another color again? This is Samba. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, that's so beautiful. But then it also shifts into purple because this one shifts from green to purple and Mambo shifts from blue to purple. So go figure, right? This is so darn pretty. Then I'm just gonna blend this together. The Mambo, oh my God. Look at those shifts. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm just so in love with it. From green and then blue, but then also there's a shift of purple. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with the other eye is I'm gonna place polka. Uh, let's see how it reacts to it because we've already have the blue one there. We're not there yet, but it already looks pretty. I feel like my eyes are dipped in metallic ecstasy. Look at that shift. There's also a purple shift. You can see that? Oh, it's green. It's supposed to be green. Is it green? Maybe it's just my light. Wait, hold on. That is beautiful, come on. That is just beautiful. Maybe I'm just gonna blend it out a bit with Mambo. There you go. It's blending out well. You see that? Oh my God, I'm so in love. Okay, so for my lower Waterline, I'm just gonna use the Natasha Denona nude palette. I'm gonna extend it here as well for the wing. I want the eyes to focus on my lids. Beautiful. There you go for the lower lid. Now I'm just gonna put mascara and get back to you to um, include the waltz. Is I can put this on the inner corner of my eye. Like, pretty too. It's green, but also it shifts into pink. So yay, we used all of it. Next, for the highlight, I'm gonna use the Tango. Look at, look at that. Gosh, oh, those are pretty. Those are so pretty. Sucker for anything multi-chromatic. Okay, so I'm gonna get a fan brush and then I'm gonna brush this on my cheeks. Let's see, let's see. Nothing much there. Maybe I'm just using the wrong brush. Oh yeah, definitely there. I'm gonna change my brush because it doesn't give it justice. There you go. To blend it well. That is so pretty. See that? Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix um, my hair and then let's get back to the business, which is this one, my lips. Okay, so before I jump into the glosses, I actually wanna try the multi chromes in my lips. So I have here an Anastasia Beverly Hills black lipstick. Let's try this out. I love it. I love it with a black lipstick. Let's go with the Mambo. So I'm not gonna put it directly on my lips. I'm still gonna use a brush for this. Mm, come on, it's just pretty. And then for the sides, I was thinking, let's do waltz. So pretty. 
do you think guys? Let me know your thoughts down below. I am gonna however take this off and I'm gonna replace it with a hypergloss because we're also gonna test out the hypergloss. Okay, so with this look actually, what I'm aiming for is this one. This is the sugar plum. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, that's so nice. And it smells so good, it smells like candy. I would however swatch all of these in my Instagram reel, so check out my Instagram if you still haven't. There you go, this is the final look. Um, and for my overall review, of course, like the glosses are the best, but in terms of the shadows, I would say they are they're really great. You just have to act fast when applying it because it also dries fast as well. But that's the beauty of it because you just you just want to have fun with makeup. You don't have to spend so much time in it. That kind of formula makes you just want to create more. The dual chromatic, oh my god, I'm such a sucker for anything chromatic, multi-dual, tri-color shadows and this just blew my mind. Like, come on, look at that pigment right there. It's amazing. That's it, hope you guys like it. If you want more makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, please comment down below what kind of makeup products you'd want me to review and you'd want me to try on or have a tutorial. So that's it. If you did like this video, please hit the like, the share, comment your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.